you know, when you're signing off on things, you know, do you read every fine print? No. And I didn't. I probably didn't. In pain and needing medical attention, this Round Rock woman says she got charged a hefty price for not paying closer attention. Now she'd like you to learn from her experience when it comes to choosing one of those standalone or strip mall medical facilities that seem to be popping up just about everywhere. As KXAN investigator Mike Rush found out, while they may look similar, there are some major differences. Sophie, I'm going to get you. Sophie. When Sophie's got to go, she's got to go, even if. So it was the ice storm of January 31st. Want to go back out? Kathy Gassman opened the door. Good girl. So I noticed that the gate was closed, or almost closed, so I stepped out, and that's when I fell. Ice on the patio. And boom, I went right down. So I still opened the gate for the dog. <laughs> and I went in to see what was happening with my body. Her right wrist and left foot were hurting. So I went to this freestanding emergency place, which I thought was like an urgent care. The Brushy Creek Family Hospital, just minutes from her house in Round Rock. After a quick exam and a couple of x-rays, the prognosis, nothing broken. So with tape around her toes and a bandage on her wrist, Gassman went on her way. Days later. I'm like, that's outrageous. The bills came, one from the doctor, another from the facility. It was over $10,000. What Gassman didn't realize is that this facility where she came is not an urgent care. It's not a freestanding emergency room. It's actually a hospital, just on a smaller scale. I had no idea. Even though she did sign this form that day stating she was in a facility that was part of a group of freestanding ERs and hospitals. It's certainly confusing. Dr. Diana Fight is an emergency physician and past president of the Texas Medical Association. Between urgent cares, freestanding ERs, and small neighborhood hospitals. It's a hard decision to make for the general public. Dr. Fight says urgent cares are not state licensed, have limited services, don't stay open around the clock and may have nurse practitioners or physician assistants instead of doctors and nurses on staff. They're typically less costly than freestanding emergency rooms in small hospitals. Those have rates similar to a traditional ER or hospital visit because they provide a higher level of care with 24-7 operations and are state regulated with certain mandates. They have to have nurses there, they have to have physicians, ultrasounds, CAT scans, all sorts of medications, all sorts of requirements that an urgent care type of place is not going to have. Then as an industry, we've done our best to educate people. Dr. Nathaniel Greenwood is the chief medical officer for Brushy Creek Family Hospital, where Gassman went. She gave him permission to speak with us about her case. How do you justify those prices? As you break it down and you explain the process and the game that's... Greenwood says his smaller hospital with an ER still has full-size hospital prices because it's open 24-7 with doctors and nurses on staff and has two operators rooms and inpatient beds for longer stays. Despite what the bills state, he says they typically expect to get only a fraction of what they charge. We you know, send essentially an inflated bill and realize that the insurance company is not going to pay anything close to that. It's a game you have to play. It's a game that we play and it's unfortunate. As it turns out, of the more than $10,000 charged between the two bills, Gassman's insurance agreed to pay less than 10 percent, $950, an amount Gassman actually has to pay herself because she hasn't met her insurance deductible. I just want people to know. Hoping her story can spare others from sticker shock. Read signs, ask maybe questions before you start filling things out. Mike Rush, KXAN Investigates. Mike did connect Gassman and Dr. Greenwood from Brushy Creek Hospital. They agreed she could pay $180 to close the claim. Now, if you're confused about where to go if you're injured, here's some guidance. According to the Texas Association of Freestanding Emergency Centers, urgent cares are good for treating things like minor infections, flu symptoms, sprains, and small cuts. Freestanding emergency centers are equipped for issues like heart attacks, strokes, open fractures, and head injuries. Dr. Greenwood says small hospitals with emergency rooms have the same capabilities. Here's an easy way to know what you're getting into. If the facility you're going to has the word emergency in the title, expect to pay those premium prices. 
This story all started as a tip. If you have something we should investigate, let us know about it. Just send us an email to report it at kxan.com.